Queen Wilhelmina of the Netherlands recently visited her country for the first time since the war. Crossing the Belgian-Dutch frontier, the Queen started on a tour of liberated Holland, a tour which had been kept secret. But somehow the news had travelled ahead, and everywhere she was greeted with the sincerity of a people deeply thankful for their release from the nightmare of Nazi domination. The presence of war widows was a reminder, if one was needed, that not all Holland was yet freed from the German yoke, and that close by, Allied forces were inexorably closing in on the huge German army trapped in the remaining occupied territory. On this spot, where several Dutch civilians gave their lives in attempting to save a bridge, the Queen placed a rosette in recognition of their heroism. people who've suffered grievously during the war years, the visit of Queen Wilhelmina must have signalized the end of their oppression and the promise of happier days to come. the total amount of red-hot metal you can pour on the enemy. That is the ultimate factor that wins wars. Well, here's how they are winning in Burma. Hopping over jungle that would have bogged down big guns, transport planes carry firepower right up under the enemy's nose. the army's silent wings, play their part. An airstrip near Mechchilla, and the Jap lines only three miles away. The Japs themselves were a lot nearer. Snipers pestered the airstrip from a few hundred yards range. Gurkhas brought by the planes set about unloading. It had to be done quickly, and they got the time a plane was on the airstrip down to eight minutes, too short a time for the Japs to do anything about it. Then everything was set for the advance.
Chilla little more than a name on a board when it was taken. Firepower, overwhelming in its weight, had smashed the town and with it the Japs who tried to hold it. With the capture of Mechchilla, the Allies had cut the main road and railway between Mandalay and southern Burma. And so the 14th Army set out on the final lap of the long and bitter road to Mandalay. Mandalay Hill, a natural fortress where the Kokri was the last word in the fight. for Mandalay Hill was over, but the remaining Japanese forces retreated into Fort Duffery, a natural fortified stronghold in the center of the city. Allied guns and the RAF got to work on them. For close on a fortnight, the Japs held out. Then they cracked. The capture of the fort completed the story of the fall of Mandalay. British campaign in the Irrawaddy Valley, of which the capture of Mandalay was the culmination, has been conducted by General Slim's 14th Army with consistent brilliance. The enemy was outguessed and outmaneuvered at every turn. To Mandalay came the Supreme Allied Commander of Southeast Asia Command, Lord Louis Mountbatten. Following his visit to Mandalay Hill, the Supreme Commander examined the ruins of Fort Dufferin. Another visitor to Mandalay was Mr. R. G. Casey, Governor of Bengal, accompanied by General Slim, the 14th Army Commander. victory was celebrated at a ceremony in Fort Dufferin, presided over by General Slim. The Japanese marched into Mandalay on May the 1st, 1942. Just three years later, the Union Jack once more floated over the city, and Mandalay had become another milestone on the road to Japanese defeat. <laughs> 